Hello, this video will go over a few different ways to export data out of the system so that people can take it offline and uh, do other activities with that data. If you select an entire map set, which would be an entire genome in this example for Arabidopsis, if you right click on that map set name, you can go to the export tab. And this will then bring up another interface that allows you to uh, configure the data to how you want to export. This provides all the different tabs associated with that map set and provides all the different data that's captured in the database. And you can decide by clicking on and off which data you want to export for any given feature. Once again, this is an entire genome. And so this is all the genes on that entire genome under GenBank. The more common way to export is to actually select a chromosome. So in this example, we have chromosome two. Once again, if you right click on the entire chromosome, you can actually export chromosome two and all the genes on chromosome two, once again, for all the different tracks. And in RICE, we have a QTL track. So you get some added benefit of getting QTLs and certain traits associated with those QTLs if you're interested in that. Also, if you wanted to select a given region, you can zoom into a region by using the shift key, and then you can select a given region by using the control key and the left mouse button to select a region in green. Once you select that region, you can right click on it and you can export track. And now it gives you only the information in the tracks under the green highlighted bar. So we have Tiger CDSs, there's 76 of those. Once again, we probably want to add function to that to give some additional information associated with these CDSs. And you can do the same thing for mRNA and also see what QTLs are in that region as well. You can select a few of these and export selected items, or you can export all. And once again, this all gets exported into an Excel file, which then you can manipulate uh, in different ways as you'd like for different purposes. You can also export off of a genetic map. So for example, we have this maze IBM 2008 map. If we brought up chromosome two, once again, you can zoom into this map very easily and see all the different markers. We can select a given region similar to how we did last time by hitting the control button and the left mouse button. Once again, when we select a given region, we can right click on it and get this export track functionality. And now it brings up all markers within that region. So 17 markers and a variety of information that you can add or subtract if you're not interested um, to export and move offline to other applications. So this was just a couple simple ways to get featured data out of the system so that you can use it for other purposes in your research. So I hope that helps. Thanks.